Welcome to St. Thomas School, Classroom Standard 2. You may be wondering why did I invite you to a school classroom? What is the relation between this classroom and the CCNA? Basically, there is no relation. But I took you into this classroom to make you understand one important concept of the network devices. That is the host name. So when you imagine a classroom, what is the picture coming into your mind? There would be one teacher and a group of student, right? It is not like one student and a group of teacher. The chances are for one teacher and a group of student. So among this group of student, how a student is going to be identified in this classroom? Is that student going to be identified by their color or the nationality? No. The students are going to be identified by their name. So in this classroom, each student will have a unique name that is different from the others. That helps to identify them from the other student. So this student name may be Clara. And this student name may be Jennifer. And this may be James. And this may be Martin. And this may be Sean. So in this way, each student will have a unique name that is different from the others. And this name used to identify them in the classroom. Now apply the concept of classroom into a computer network. In a computer network, there will be a lot of network devices or computers that is connected to that network. These are same like the students in a classroom. So there may be hundreds and hundreds of network devices in a large network. And there will be same model of devices. And how these network devices are going to be identified in a network. In the classroom, the students were identified by using their unique names. So how the network devices are identified in a network. That is with the help of host name. Each devices in the network will have one unique name that is called the host name. This name is used to identify the devices from that network. So in this video, we are going to talk about the host name. What is the host name and how we can set up a host name for a Cisco device. Welcome to CCNA 203.01 Implementing and Administering Cisco Solutions Chapter Number 38 How to Configure Host Name in a Cisco Device Learn CCNA with iRush Academy I have placed the complete CCNA playlist at the top right corner of the video information bar. In this chapter, we will talk about what is a host name. Then we will talk about the different types of host name in common use. Then finally, I will show you how to configure host name in a Cisco device. Now let's talk about the host name. What is a host name? The host name is the name of the device. It is the name that we provide to a device. And it is what a device is called on a network. A network is an interconnection of multiple devices. So each device should be identified by a unique name. That is the host name. We call a device by its host name to identify that device in a network. A host name is a label that is assigned to a device connected to a computer network and that is used to identify the device in various form of electronic communication. So as I said, in a computer network, each device is labeled by a name that is a host name. And we use this host name for any kind of electronic communication. For example, we can use the host name to tell it to a device. We can call a file share by using the host name. So there are various occasions that we can use a host name in a network communication. Same like we provide the name to each individual from us, we provide the host name to the devices. For example, for this group of student, each student will be identified by their name. So there is a John, there is Ima, Martin, Irene, Vincent, Dima. All of them are identified and recognized by their name. And we use these names to address them. The same concept is applicable to a computer network. In a network, we use this host name to address the devices. So why do we want to use the host name? Just imagine a large computer network which contain multiple devices. Maybe there are a lot of network switches, network routers, computers, etc. As you can see, each device in that network are performing some kind of duties in that network. 
they send traffic they receive the traffic they broadcast the data they send the file receive the file lot of operation so in this computer network each devices are unique they perform some kind of task so just imagine there is two computer have the same name then what will happen there will be a naming conflict because when you say the pc1 is sending the data in this network what if there is two pc1 is available so which pc1 is going to send the data so that's why it is very important to have a different name for each device in a network now imagine you are the network administrator of this network so to manage this network you use your laptop and connect a console cable to one device and get access to its console and from there what if you want to access this router one of the option is you remove this cable from this switch and connect this console cable to the router and what if you want to access this switch then remove this cable from here and connect that to this switch so in this way if you want to manage multiple multiple devices every time you need to remove the console cable from each device and connect to another device it is very difficult to perform this task when there are multiple devices that you need to manage so what you can do to access another device from the same device just imagine this is the device you connected first and from here you want to connect to this router this router so you don't want to remove the console cable from one device and connect to the another device instead from the first device console you can create a telnet connection to the second device telnet is using to remotely manage another device from a device so as soon as you do a telnet then this device interface you can get in this console and then you can manage this device and what if you want to manage this device then you can do another telnet session to this device and get access to its console so each time when you do telnet to multiple devices how do you track in which device interface you are going to make the changes for example you want to configure one ip address at this switch interface so how do you know you are in the right telnet session to make these changes by mistake what if you are in this device console and do the ip configuration then it can cause wrong configuration at wrong device this can destroy your network connection so when you provide multiple host name you can identify the console with the help of the host name for example this may be the switch 1 and this may be switch 2 and this may be switch 3 this may be router 1 So when you tell it to a device and when it is successfully connected you can see the host name of that device in your console for example if you can see in your console this switch 1 that means you are in the console of switch 1 if you see switch 2 then you are in this device console if you see switch 3 then you are in this device console and instead of switch if you see router 1 then you are in the console of the router from there you can easily configure the right configuration in that device without any confusion so in this way you can identify the device console with the help of the host name provided so one of the important things here you never provide the same host name to another device in your network so if you provide then what will happen you will not understand in which device interface you are in so it is better to separate each device in a network with a different host name what host name i can provide Is there any naming standard that we can use while providing the host name to a network device? Basically there are different ways to choose a host name. There are three types of naming convention we use commonly. The first one is theme based. So what is a theme based means? Theme based means we can provide the naming to the network devices based on a theme. For example, you can give the name based on a color theme. You can give red router, yellow switch and blue firewall etc. this theme is not only limited to the color it can be based on any theme maybe you can use the superheroes name like the spiderman switch batman router and superman firewall etc this is the funniest way of naming of the devices this kind of naming you can provide for small networks with very less number of network devices and maybe you can consider this kind of name if you are the only one who manages this network there is no one else is managing so in some kind of small and private network you can provide this theme based naming system but this is not recommended because this is not a standard form of naming of the devices now let's go to the second type of naming that is symbol functional 
This is providing a host name based on the functionality of the device. For example, you can include the location details in the naming system. Then you can use the functions of the device in this naming system. Then you can put the number as well. For example, this location we can consider the country or the state or even the IDF room, something like that. For example, if my device is on London, I can provide the name London, then hyphen, then what is the function of the device? The function, this may be a core switch or access switch or a firewall, anything. So if it is a core switch, I can use core switch, then hyphen, then the number of switch. So in this network, there may be more than one core switch is available. So we can put this as core switch one and the other switch as core switch two. So this is one of the naming way based on the functionality. It should be very simple and understandable. Because when you see the host name, you need to understand what is the location, what is the function of that device and what is the number of that device. This will help you to identify the device from its host name. Now let's go to the third method that is complex functional. Before we were talking about the simple functional names. Now this is complex functional. So in this kind of naming system, the host name shall be a little bit complicated, something like this. It's a long name and you never understand what is the meaning of these numbers and characters. So let me explain this. This UK means maybe it is the country of the residents of this device. This device is located at the UK. Then this may be the city name, London. Then this may be the service name, Metro Ethernet or something. Then this may be the circuit name. This means the circuit 11. Then this may be the rack number. It is in the rack 4. Then this may be the function of the device. Maybe this is a core switch. That's why CS and 3 means the number of the switch. CS3. So in this way, we can put host name in very complex functional method. Normally, you don't want to do this kind of complex functional naming for your devices. But some people used to do it. Especially if you are looking for the devices under the service provider, they use this kind of some complicated naming system. So you don't want to do it unless you need it. So these are the three ways that we can use to provide the host name to a network device in your network. Now let's see how to configure the host name. We can use the host name command to configure the host name in a Cisco device. It doesn't matter whether it is a network switch or it's a router or firewall or WLC, access point, anything, any Cisco device which is running iOS operating system, we can use this same command host name to configure the host name of the device. Now there is a network diagram in the screen. You can see three switches are connected to one router. Switch 1, Switch 2 and Switch 3. Here I am going to change the host name of Switch 1 into a theme based host name. Then Switch 2 into a simple functional host name. And Switch 3 into a complex functional host name. So let's go to the console connection of each switch and change the host name accordingly. First I am going to take the console of the Switch 1 and change the host name of Switch 1. Now I am at the console of Switch 1. So let me press the enter button in my keyboard and you can see its current host name is switch1. Now let me go to the privilege mode by using the command enable and now I am in the privilege mode. Now let me go to the configuration mode using the command configure terminal to configure the host name. So let me go to the command configure terminal then press enter. Now I can use the host name command to change the host name of this device. So I am going to enter host name then press the question mark and when I press the question mark you can see the next available command is word and you can see this word in capital letter what does it mean the display message in capital letter means it is not exactly the command word instead this is something we can put here we can put any word we can put any name and that name will be accepted as the host name of this device so let's do it this is the host name command now I am going to change the host name into a theme based name. So which theme based name we can use? Okay, we can use the theme based on country. So I am going to put the host name as India. And as soon as I press enter here, see, you can see the host name has been changed to India. Now, if you want to change this thing again, you can put the command host name, then put anything you want. 
so if you want to put a word like red hyphen switch then press enter see its host name has been changed to red hyphen switch so this is how you change the host name by using the command called host name now switch one configuration is completed we have successfully changed its host name into a theme based host name now i am going to the console of switch 2 to change its host name let's go to the switch 2 console now let's go to the switch number 2 console when I press enter, you can see I am in the switch number 2 console. Here I am going to use the command enable to go to the privilege mode. Then configuration mode using the configuration terminal command. Now I am going to change the host name into some simple functional name. Just imagine this switch is at India. So let me put the location India. Then hyphen let me put this is in the city of delhi so let me put delhi here now i can put the room number two to indicate that this device is in room number two then the function i can put like this is a access switch. then the function i can put like this is an access switch so i can put as that indicate the access switch then the number one so this indicate that india is a country and delhi the city and room number two and this is access switch and its number is one and when i press enter see this host name change to this one so this is how we change the host name based on the simple functional level now we have successfully changed the host name of switch number two into a simple functional model now i am going to the console of switch three to change its host name now let's go to the console of the switch number three and when i press here you can see i am in the console of switch number three so let me use the command enable to go to privilege mode then use the command configure terminal to go to configuration mode now i can use the host name command to change the host name so let me put the host name now i am going to put a complex functional naming system here for example let me put here uk to indicate that this switch is in uk then let me put the london here then to indicate the metro ethernet this is metro ethernet then office number one then circuit number 134 then rack number 3 then core switch then access switch 3 and when i press enter see the host name has been changed so this is the new host name here and when you go here you can see it always shows the host name so this is how we change the host name based on the complex functional naming system now we have successfully completed changing the host name in switch 3 into a complex functional host name that's it for now so in this chapter we have talked about what is a host name we have discussed about different types of host name in common use and finally i have showed to you how to configure host name in cisco devices thank you very much for watching and subscribe to the channel for more videos enhance your skills using irash academy